What's up guys, I'm McKenzie and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. If you enjoyed the video today, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment advice for these lessons down below. And you guys, enjoy the video. The girl, it's Glenn's wife, that's Maggie. Shut up, Doc. Poor Lee. It's his fan band. Doesn't sound too good. All right. So we're here at the motel. Glenn looks depressed. Everyone hey, looks Glenn. depressed. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. No, Glenn. Don't go, Glenn. I think that's the wrong call, I really do. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. <sighs> Losing Glenn. Ah, oh, man. Glenn's cool. He's cool in the TV series, and he probably would have been cool in the game as well. He just sending himself to death. It's not cool. They don't know the extent of the injuries. I mean, the apocalypse. It's a freaking stupid idiot, Glenn. <sighs> hey, kid. Close call back there. Sure it was. Picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Yep, it's like a father. He's just like a father. Kenny is a father. Shut up, duck. Where's duck? Why do I? Like, why can't I sprint? I just want to sprint. Hey, Carly. We should definitely be together. Like, you're Carly, you and I am Lee. I'm okay. You know, it's considering. written in the stars. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? No. I don't think so. He was going up. Happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a. It's just that, I think that I liked him. Yeah, but you're better than Doug. Cause Doug's fucking fat. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone. I think. I understand. Wait, Lee. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Cause you've got a gun. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. Cause you I have just gun. wish we both could have made it, you know? Yeah, me, me too, too, Carly. Shut up, Doc! You can just hear Doc going on and Clementine's just like... Look! Doc's just like, I'm a guy, look, and I killed a little flower and then I ate it and ripped its wings off. And oh my god, and I wanted to learn how to swim and Clementine's just like... Yeah, that's, that's cool, Doc. 
that's pretty cool. Do you mind if you freaking piss off now? Look, Lee's coming over. Look, Kenny needs you. Your dad needs you. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Doc. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. Shop, Doc. Here. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. Yeah, Doc isn't no, really kidding. it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. Maybe. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Shut up. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, oh, another thing. Shut up, Doc. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. Damn, I shouldn't have said that. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Shut up, Doc. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Yeah, but he doesn't appreciate that. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, damn. To be continued. Probably should have put this at the end of the last episode. But we're putting it in the start of this one. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm a big idiot. I'm just stupid. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Ah! You never liked my dad. Even back in the drugstore whenever we thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him! This isn't happening! No more, please. No more, please. Lee, please. <laughs> Jeez, mate. Bring back some memories there. Damn, I should put that at the end of the episode. Fire up, I'm stupid. Anyway, look at these decisions. All right, this is this is right. We're gonna end the video. Very, it's gonna be short. This is the whole series, ain't it? Light to Herschel, you in, were 54% more under. It. So I was in the majority there. Just okay. Duck or Sean, you and 30% chose Duck. I chose Duck, not because I want, I like Duck or I want Duck. This is just me justifying my choices. But Duck, because he's Kenny's son and Kenny's cool. Sean, I probably could have saved him because Herschel's cool in the TV series. But Kenny, man, he's my man and got a side with him. A side with Kenny. Yep, majority sided with Kenny because Kenny's a cool kid. Gave Irene the gun. I... 
probably should have given it the game I wanted to, but at the same time, I wasn't 100% sure. Who would you say, Doug or Carly? Why would Moore choose Doug? He's a little idiot. He's just a little faggot. Anyway, majority of it was pretty much all down the middle, so like, either way, I was pretty much the same. Anyway, that is the end of The Walking Dead, episode one of season one. There we go. I'm just going to stop the credits there. But guys, that is where we are going to end it, so I hope you have enjoyed it. fact, no, let's actually listen to the credits. Oh, anyway, guys. So, that, guys, is going to be the end of the video. I'm sorry this one is short, but what are you going to do about it? I'm kind of stupid for not putting it at the end of the last video. But that is where we are going to end the video. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment, advice, video suggestions down below. And, yeah, stay tuned for the start of Season 2. So, that is where I'm going to end it. And, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.